been like forever since I've unboxed and reviewed a WWE figure. Unfortunately, I'm not unboxing one. I'm just reviewing it. And it is the Elite 18 Kelly. Kelly, what a diva, right? I've had a past history with this diva. You know, she sent me a bunch of autographs because I gave her a bunch of money. And honestly, they were the best autographs I've ever received after I customized them a little bit. But this is the best action figure I've ever received from Ringside Collectibles without the accessory. I'm not sure if it was the best. There's probably been better, but whatever. This is Kelly Kelly. She's wearing her classic white attire with the blue details or would you say it's blue attire with the white details yeah I, I kinda botched that <laughs> okay but let's go into the detail of her face because that's the most important part of this and I think it kinda works there's some weird stuff going on with the plastic being too shiny in her mouth but I think overall it looks like Kelly Kelly it's not as amazing like the Eva Marie welcome to WWE Wednesday but I still think this is a, a good and the best one. She had basics that didn't have face scans as good as this, but uh, and she's got boots, little boots, and she she's very thin, very petite. Um, she comes with this jacket accessory that's kind of weird. It's kind of shiny. Looks nice. It is removable, but I'm afraid to remove it. Um. Let's look at the detail of it. It's sparkly and stuff like that. Ooh, wow. It's a half jacket. Does, do any of you wear half jackets? I don't. So here she is without it on, and honestly, I think it's a little disappointing without it on. I think it looks better with it on. What do you guys think? And uh, I just want to... I just, you know, Barbie Blank, a.k.a. Kelly Kelly, she's getting married soon. I want to wish her the best because, you know, we've had a past history and I'm just getting really emotional here, guys. Because, you know, me and Kelly Kelly, we have a bond. Kelly Kelly, please adopt me. Ah! So to have a critique segment, uh, as, as I say often with these, uh, the sculpt does not match the paint. And I think that's a really big flaw because it's not like that's what they look like when they're wrestling and I wish Mattel took the time to actually sculpt her attire or just not sculpt anything and just have it be paint like her bottom but unfortunately I bet parents would complain and say that it's unsafe for their children be because someone could remove the paint and it would appear like she was naked